Hello and welcome to my Blender model to asset bundle tutorial. And today I will teach you how to convert a lovely 3D model into a cosmetic that you can use in Play Doh. To start off, I'm going to use this ball cap. And what we're going to want to do is first we're going to want to turn on the armature. And then, so yeah, you don't have them parented. So what we're going to want to do is just merge these meshes. And if you ever want to get it back, obviously you can go into uh, edit mode with tab and click P. You can either do by loose parts or if you click on this, do control L, it selects linked and then we can do P by selection. All right, so what we're going to want to do is actually bring it up to the top. Just up here, we'll do. Then select this. Right click. Parent with automatic weights. And now it should be parented. Now we got to check the weight painting to make sure it's actually good, which most likely <laughs> is not. So what we do is we select armature. Make sure we're in pose mode. Select the head bone. Control click on the ball cap. And as we can see, the weight painting is. Make sure you control click on the head bone again. It's not ideal. We want it to be all red all around. Specifically for a hat. If, if it's an outfit that you're doing, you want to adjust the weight paints. To make sure it uh, works well. You can test it by doing this. You can see the it's connected to the head bow. Moves with it. Exactly what we want. And now the model is ready to be put into an asset bundle. So we do that by clicking on the armature. Control clicking on the ball cap. Just go into object mode because why not. And then we want to export as an FBX. You can do it wherever you want. I'm just doing it in a specific folder for the mod because you got to stay organized. And make sure, this is very important, that selected objects is selected. <laughs> what this will do is, since we have armature and ball cap selected, it will only export that. And that is what we need. So just go ahead and export that. Next up, you want to make sure you have Unity. So if you don't have Unity, go take this time to download it. Once it's downloaded, just open it up and we're going to create a new project. Make sure it's 3D, the template, and name it something like Played Up Asset Bundles or something like that. Or just Played Up. Now create project. This might take a little while, so grab some popcorn. <laughs> Once your project is open, you want to create a new folder in your assets folder down here, and you want to call it editor. And then just open that folder and right click create new C sharp script. What we're going to do here is create a script that lets us build asset bundles. So we want to go ahead and name it something like create asset bundles. And we want to go ahead and open this in any text editor. I use Visual Studio. But even something like Notepad will work. All right, now that this is open, go ahead and scroll down to the description and copy paste the code into the script. Just like this. And now, control S to save, and we can quit the text editor. All right, now that that's out of the way, we can go to our assets folder, right click, and create a new folder called something like plate up mods folder. And what I'm about to do, you can organize it however you want, so you don't have to do this right away. And you want to open that folder, and in this folder, create a new folder with the name of your mod. So for this example, Generic Cosmetics 
pack. All right, and I'll just go ahead and open that. All right, a new folder called Asset Bundle. And create another new folder called Models. And what we're gonna wanna do is open the Models folder. And we're going to want to drag in our FBX model. Just like so. And now you should see it in the viewer down here. And on the right, you'll see materials. One of the tabs is materials. And you're going to want to change import via material description to none. What this does is basically, it will not create a material. Because we don't actually want to do that in Unity. And we want to do that in the code. Now just go ahead and apply it and drag the ball cap into the hierarchy. And now in the scene, you can see it right here. Its position doesn't really matter, but I suggest applying transformations in Blender before doing this. All right, just go ahead and give it a save because you don't want to lose your progress. And now right click the ball cap and click prefab unpack completely what this does is it removes the prefab so these are no longer really connected anymore and now we want to go into the folder above this one click on the asset bundle folder and on the bottom right you can see a thing called asset labels now what we want to do is create a new asset bundle by clicking on the drop down menu and clicking new and now we want to name it something like the name of our mod. So I'm just going to do generic cosmetic pack or cosmetics pack. And now this asset bundle is linked to this folder. Now, when we go in this folder, we can drag the object from the scene into this folder and it creates a new prefab. If we go ahead and click on it here, it'll open up the prefab view. And now just close the armature on the left. You click on ball cap, which is the object linked to it. Then on the right, you can see skinned mesh renderer. And here you can change the mesh if you ever want to update the model. So you can just go back into models, delete this one, re-import it, go back to ball cap, and choose the new mesh, as you can see right here. All right, top left, click on this button to go back to the regular view. Go ahead and save it again. And now it's almost ready. We just got to click on the ball cap once again. On the bottom right, select the asset bundle that you just created for this folder. Now that that's created, we can go ahead and right click and build asset bundles. And finally, we can go back to our assets folder and a new streaming assets folder should be created. If we click on it, We'll see it's empty, but if we right click, go into show in, show in Explorer, then we go into the streaming assets folder, we'll see we have generic cosmetics pack or whatever your mod name is, and it's a file. What we want to do to make it into an asset bundle is right click and rename it and just add a dot assets at the end. Make sure it has an S. And now you have an asset bundle. And if you ever want to add more models to the asset bundle, you can go ahead, add it to the asset bundle like you did before, exact same steps, and make sure you add the asset bundle. And then you can build it with multiple objects in the asset bundle. Thank you for watching this video, and good luck modding!